सो हे गाइज वेलकम टू माई चैनल एंड आई एम बैक अगेन वन अनदर रियली इंटरेस्टिंग वीडियो गाइज एंड इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू यूज लामा थ्री पॉइंट टू एंड क्रिएट ए इमेज कॉन्टेंट क्रिएटर विद इट सो येस गाइज टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू यूज बोथ लामा थ्री पॉइंट टू विजन मॉडल एंड ऑल्सो दिस थ्री पॉइंट टू टेक्सट मॉडल टू एक्चुअली क्रिएट टेक्सट और एक्चुअली क्रिएट स्टोरीज वेन इट इज जस्ट गिवन एन इमेज so i know you guys are excited for this application i am excited to let's get started so first thing first guys to make this small application we are going to use google collab and you can see here that i already have the script and i am going to take you through it one by one the first thing that you have to do is you have to install grok because we are using llama 3.2 model which is sort of a heavy model we will be using an ai inference tool which gives us faster access to these large language models once you have the grok installed guys then you need few packages first thing is you need the grok package then you need the base 64 package for encoding these images decoding these images then you need the image uh, class for basically displaying the image and we need the os class to actually store our environment variables now what are the environment variables we need and that's pretty obvious guys we need the grok api key as the environment variable so to get this environment variable guys you just go to your google collab secrets and you can see that i have configured my grok api key here and you can just fetch that grok api key by using user data dot get grok okay now if you guys don't know how to get the grok api key basically you go to grok cloud here and if you go to this api keys option in the left hand side menu you will be able to get your api key now now that we have our free grok api key it is time to start building our application the first thing is that we are going to use a grok client so you just do client equals to grok Just remember this guy is that this client actually takes an argument called as API key. Now, if you already have the API key in your environment variable like me, you don't have to pass it inside the Grok client object. Otherwise, you can pass it in this constructor, and that will also work. Now we declare two models. Okay, so here is the use case what we are trying to do. We are going to create a image based content creator. we upload an image and then we create a content or a story from that image now uh, to describe an image to parse an image we need our vision model and for that we are using the llama 3.2 11 billion vision preview model this remember guys that the 90 billion vision pre preview model is not available on grok yet so if you go to grok cloud and you click on models you will see that for 3.2 uh they have uh, the 1 billion model the 3 billion model which are only the text models and for the image models they only have the 11 billion vision model for 90 billion the it's not yet uh, provided it's still coming soon so you can use the 11 billion one so here is what we have done we have declared the 11 billion vision preview model stored it in, in this variable The second thing we did is we took a text model, which is the three billion preview model, and we stored it in this variable. And now we are going to take our image. My images are uploaded in the images folder, guys. I've got two images uploaded. One is the bulldog image, and our, and another is another dog, which is a pointer breed dog. And now I am just displaying my image. Okay, so I'm just using this image class to display this image. Next thing, what I'm going to do is I'm going to define an encoding function. So what I'm going to use is base sixty four to encode this image file, and then I will get the encoded image in this object base sixty four image. Okay, because we are using a vision model, so we need to provide the encoded image uh, data to our large language models to evaluate. Now we create an image to text function. This function basically takes four arguments, guys. First is the client, which is your Grok client that is going to load the large language model for you. Second is your model name, so the model that I want to load. And uh, third is your base sixty four image, which is your encoding image. And finally is the prompt. So whatever you want to do with that image, that you have to say in this prompt. Now we call a client dot chat dot completions dot create method. 
which is just calling any large language uh, model client object method where you provide the messages or you can say that you provide the prompts right you provide the conversation now think of it in this way guys this is a image model right so you have to provide an image as a prompt you can't just provide text you have to provide an image as a prompt so what we are uh, saying to the model is that a user so the role user so user is giving you a prompt which is of type text and the text is the prompt value that is the question that you want to do with the image but also it is giving you an image and that image is also part of the prompt but the type of that uh, message is image URI and the image URI is the URL of the image okay so you just do data image JPEG page 64 and then you provide your encoded image okay this is how you can provide images in your prompts so now that you have your messages you have your whole conversation recorded in this messages array you go to the next argument which is the model and here we can pass any vision model that we want to use to you know uh, do something with this image now let's go to the next portion which is actually calling this function so to call this function we need four arguments right so first of all i'm defining my one argument which is prompt that is describing uh, image okay okay let me just close this yep describing the image and then we call this function image you text now when we are calling this function we are passing all four arguments first is your grok client second is your vision model that you are using to actually answer the prompt on the image then you have your encoded image and then finally you have the prompt string and which is basically saying describe this image right so now when i execute this function guys and you can see that the base 64 image is the image of my bulldog you see that it gives me an entire description of the image it says that the image describes a scene of a brown and white bulldog which is standing on a grassy field blah 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 but this is pretty good description guys it gives me a lot of uh, information about this image and all of that is happening within 11 billion vision model llama 3.2 isn't that amazing guys now let's jump into the next portion of this video now we have used the 3.2 vision model now i'm going to use the 3.2 text model to actually generate a story from this image description so this is the function it is called short story generation which basically takes two arguments first is your client which is again your grok client and second is the image description now here uh, we are not providing any image right so you can see in the messages array i have all only the text messages so first the system is saying something that you are a children's book author write a short story about the scene depicted in this image or images so that is a system prompt which basically means that we are preparing the system to be a children's book author and second is the user prompt where the user is just giving the description of the image and then the next uh, system is going to answer that image description with a short story right in the argument in the uh, sorry second argument after the messages we provide the model and in this we provide the llama 3.2 model which is the text model trained on 3 billion parameters and finally we return the message content which is the response of our large language model now we call this function in this function we are uh, basically prompting that describe this image in detail include the appearance of the dog and any notable actions or behavior so this is the prompt that i give to the image to text function and then whatever description comes out of it i feed that description into the short story generation function so first i call image to text where i pass this describe the image in detail prompt whatever description i get I feed that into the short story generation function where I again pass the grok client and the description and it takes the llama 3.2 text model to generate a sto short story. Now you can see here that it gives me the story of Bramble's sunny day. Apparently it has named the dog as Bramble 
but it gives me a nice story about the sun shining brightly in the sky and a lot of things happening there were some blood or plants of the tree canopies and then there is a story of a photographer and bramble to i don't know sit in the park and take pictures you can read it out on your own time guys but basically you can see that with a small amount of code we are able to create our own image based content with the help of both the llama 3.2 models not only this guys if you go into the next part of the code what i have also done is combined and merged two images so if you are using a grok client to actually answer the image prompt you cannot give two images at once you have to give one image and then you give the second image so if i want to merge the descriptions of two images and actually generate a story on that first i have to call the image to text function twice with two different images okay so i have got image 1 image 2 i call the image to text with image 1 and then i call image to text with image 2 now that i have gotten both the image descriptions i can simply concatenate them and call the short story generation function once with the combined image description and now you can see that it actually it tells me the story of two dogs one is jasper the pointer and his loyal companion roman the bulldog who are sitting in the lush green field okay so now it is merging both the contents both the image descriptions together and it is giving me a story which is pretty great right however it does have a drawback that you have to call the image to text function twice but i still think that it does a pretty great job so that was a video guys i hope you guys like this video and i hope you will be now inspired to use llama 3.2 to create your own image applications with the help of this revolutionary revolutionized ai and that was all from my side from this video guys if you guys enjoyed this video and learned something from it then please do not forget to like this video and share this video with your friends if you want to support me guys then you can also support me through hitting that super thanks button and donating whatever you can through that you can also join my channel guys through the link which is mentioned in the description below and guys if you have not yet subscribed to my channel please do subscribe and hit the bell icon for future notifications of more such programming and coding related videos in the end guys if you have any questions comments suggestions feedback for me please do write in the comment section as well i would be really happy to address them thank you so much for watching i'll see you guys in the next video until then take care and bye bye